Xavi's Barcelona report card. How has the new camp icon got on so far? Xavi's baby Barca played their last game of 2021 on Tuesday night, and it left supporters feeling optimistic about what next year will bring. But after the 1-1 draw at Sevilla, they are still stuck down in seventh place in La Liga, barely able to see runaway leaders Real Madrid in the distance. So what's the verdict on Xavi's first term? Here's Sportsmail's report card on his progress so far. Xavi's ideas could not be clearer. Every player knows what he wants from them, even if some are just not able to deliver it. The team is playing with a high defensive line, which worked to great effect against Sevilla when Rafa Mir raced away to score, only for the goal to be ruled out for offside. It's more or less 4-3-3 with the lateral midfielders expected to make runs beyond a centre forward who drops deep when he can, and with wingers playing high and wide to open the pitch. It's straight out of Pep Guardiola's Barca team from 2008 onwards, even if the chasm between the quality of player that he had and that Xavi has is enormous. They have been entertaining to watch, and against Sevilla, they managed 15 shots in the first half a record in La Liga the season. He doubled the attendance in just one match, when twice as many people turned up to see Barcelona against Espanyol in Xavi's first game, than did to see Ronald Koeman's last match in charge. They chanted his name at the start of that first game, and while we have gone down a notch or two since then, especially after the side were dumped out of the Champions League, there is still a belief in what Xavi is trying to do. Most supporters believe there has been an improvement in the way the team plays since he replaced Komen. The likes of 17-year-old Gavi and 19-year-old Nico were already playing way beyond expectation for players so young before Xavi, but they seem to have been instilled with extra belief since he arrived. If Gavi was a world beater under Komen, he's a master of the universe, with Xavi telling him how good he can be. He also seems to have convinced 20-year-old Abdezel Zawli that he can join the party, and the young Moroccan winger has not needed a second invitation, even if he did look nonplussed, when a TV interviewer asked him what it was Zavi was asking him to do, saying. You've caught me out with that question. This just has not happened. Even with the injury and suspension list lengthening, Zavi has not been able to rejuvenate Felipe Coutinho, who has spent most of the new dawn sat watching from the bench. Likewise Luuk de Jong has gone from a striker lacking in confidence to someone who knows that this January, he will either be sent back to Sevilla or be loaned out somewhere else. And for all Zavi's talk of Ausmain Dembel being potentially the best in the world in his position, as of yet he still hasn't scored this season or signed a new contract. He should probably never have won that first game in charge against Espanyol. The opposition had the chances to at least take a point. And if not for a glaring miss in the final moments against Benfica, Barcelona's Champions League chances would never even have made it to the final group game in Munich. That was when the Spanish were talking about him being a lucky manager, a flower growing out of his backside, is the colloquial way they describe all fortunate coaches. But it is not taking long for Lady Luck to treat him much as she treated Komen, there is no sign of Ansu Fati being fit and available, and each game brings new problems. Against Mallorca at the start of 2022, he will be without the suspended Sergio Busquets and Gavi. He has been positive and forthright from the start. He ducks no questions and manages to combine honesty with optimism.